Hi, I'm Ryan from Nate Test Battle, and this is my new toy. Box in a box. Package in a box in a box. <laughs> now there's actually two of these in here. One of these is mine, another one of these is Adrian, but they're actually the same. Anyone who recognizes that name might guess what is inside this box. And the answer is a knife. Not just any knife. This is a Boca Quiken flip knife. Oh, kind of cool. Designed by this guy called Burnley, made by Boca, and it is a flip knife. Now, this is not how this knife will stay. Adrian and I have found a guy who does um, anodizing and uh, acid washing, so we're going to get these quite heavily customized and we will come back to these when that's done. And we have Adrian back in the shop once again, and this is gonna be a little bit of a different video, talking less about the hobby that we've been known for, Nerf. Adrian and I are both sort of falling deeply into the whole EDC cool man gadget thing. <laughs> and one of the things that we thought would be quite fun would be to get a pair of matching knives. That's right. We looked around at a nice flipper knife. Mm -hmm. You know, Adrian bought a Zero Tolerance mm -hmm. and just playing with that thing, which was a ZT... Uh, 0456. Yeah. So, so it's a Sinkevich design. Yeah. And that was just so much fun. Just mm. flop, flip, flop. Oh, flip. gorgeous. Yeah. I bought it for the action. Mm. And so I sort of, we both kind of fell in love with the, the flip knife. Yeah. And so it's kind of funny, in Australia, flip knives actually only just recently became legal. Yeah. Um, they used to count as an assisted opening knife. It was illegal. It was exactly in the same as, you know, like a spring loaded. Yeah. Yeah. To cut a long story short, we came across the Boca Quaken yeah. Mini. The Mini, yeah. Yeah, the Mini. Because both of us wanted a knife that wasn't gaudy and huge and monstrous and like a small sword, which is what you see some people make knives. And... I wanted something that looked kind of refined and elegant and just so simple. So you could use it in public and not have people yeah. sort of, as long as you're not flipping it, if you're yeah. just gently taking it out, exactly. you don't have um, everyone calling the police. So that's what we came up with, but that wasn't enough, right? That's, well, we're that's modest, we, we need to customise things, yeah. and unfortunately we don't have the setup or the skill to customise our knives, not yet. Yeah. Taps nose. <laughs> uh, so we enlisted the help of a guy in Queensland who goes by Bulletcraft, Ben yeah. Davis. Yeah. And so we both got him to customize our knives, and they are fantastic. Mint. So this is my customized Boca Mini Quaken, and it's not what I asked for, but it's exactly what I wanted. The details of what's been done, the blade and the inner scales uh, have been stonewashed and then acid etched. And then the titanium main scales have been electro-anodized to this sort of grey-blue. Um, and then in the back spacer, which has also been anodized, a ice-blue uh, tritium vial insert has been put in. Now, you won't be able to see that, but that actually glows indefinitely or for the next 20 years with a, uh, an icy blue light. And so in the dark, you can actually see that. And then the, uh, the clip has also been... Uh, stonewashed and acid etched. The original request that I had was for a black, like really dark etch and like a royal blue. But I left it up to Ben's discretion, his artistic discretion to come up with something nice. And the end result I think is just this really beautiful, industrial, you know, almost clean, rich in a post-apocalyptic colored thing. I just I love that it's this really muted grey with this stonewashed black that's sort of just grey and faded and I think it's great. Like, I, I really love how this has turned out. Okay, so the edge was sharpened with a wicked edge and it is wickedly sharp. The lockup is a little bit loose for my tastes. Um, this originally, we both sent ours at the same time, so this was the one that Adrian yeah. played around with before we sent them off. So. Whatever, that, that's just a case of bending this a little bit further in. But the actual knife itself uh, runs on an IKBS system, so there's ball bearings between the uh, inner scale and the blade. There's no self-contained bearing, which is a really smooth action, but it's a bit of a pain to disassemble, so I'm not really looking forward to doing that. Adrian has repeatedly offered to give me a lanyard, but I like it as is. So that's enough about my one. Let's have a look at Adrian's, because it is pretty bling. 
so this is my Boca Quaken Mini. I'm an aquascaper by trade originally, which is basically working in aquariums and designing aquarium exhibits. And leaving Melbourne Aquarium recently, this sort of marked that occasion for me. And I wanted something to sort of always remember that part of my life when I worked in that field around the world. This is the theme I went for. Along the top here, the liners are filed to represent water. This insert here, the backspace is made out of brass and then hammered with a ball peen to represent sort of rock. We have fish scale uh, scales. <laughs> that, that's just phenomenal how it's got this double etch with yeah, a pattern. Just... Yeah, that, that took some doing and um, there were a couple iterations of that and this one that Ben landed on is... Oh, phenomenal it's definitely luxe and it still keeps that i mean the form factor of the knife and the hobby itself of aquascaping sort of lend themselves to each other because it's a japanese thing i'm sort of into japanese aesthetic and then it goes further with the blade the blade has a triple treatment acid ash stone wash sand blasting and then polished flats and a polished edge to get that sort of faux Hammond line look. Yeah, it's a faux Hammond line celebrating the shape of the knife and also the ocean yeah. celebrating the and, overall... you know, it's a Japanese style, yeah. so what, what else? What better to put on it? Yeah. As Ryan mentioned, I uh, prefer my action a lot looser. I like them to fly open and just drop closed. Um, so, yeah. being that ours got mixed up in production, I'll have to re-open that up and change that. I have here a lanyard my wife made for me. Um, she makes lanyards now since I got into knives. I bought a whole lot of paracord to have a go myself and she is a masterful crocheter. Uh, crocheter? Is that a word? Crocheteer. Crocheteer! <laughs> She's a crocheteer. She sort of picked it up in two seconds and can now make literally anything. So uh, if anyone wants lanyards, they'll be available too. Link I, in the description. Yeah. yeah. So this, this bead is yeah. really cool. So the Kraken, it took ages for me to find a Kraken. Uh, these are normally tassel beads, but I've connected them when I've sealed the cord with heat uh, to make a tab, and those have the same fish scale. Yeah, that's my Boca Quaken Mini, and thanks to Bullocraft, he did an amazing like, job. stunning. They're... Stunning job. And it's funny, the end result, we're just yeah. talking about it now. When you put them next to each other, like, I mean... That's a Ryan knife. Exactly. <laughs> That's an Adrian knife. You know, this is this is your your industrial aerospace semi post apoc sort of what yeah. we're saying, and then this is just bling and not quite gaudy, but just yeah. you know, this is just Over going for this theme and yeah, just, yeah. just pure that theme. And what more could you want for a Japanese knife that's made to represent water? And then this is just an engineer and a mariner. Exactly. Same knife, just completely different look and made by the same guy and made by the same guy that's and so that's, incredible the best part is that we got what we wanted i mean i know you spoke at length yeah but i just sort of said you know i i i, I did yeah yeah i, I, I <laughs> asked for that. something <laughs> yeah. and he came up with this and it's just exactly what i want and he's he's such a gentleman such a mm. lovely guy i hope he has all the success in the world with what he's doing um, there are talks of more equipment coming online, so he will be, I'm assuming, offering his own mid in the future. He's got grinders on the way and he's talking about blades. Uh, at the moment, he offers an assortment of goods, uh, beads, bottle openers, all sorts of things. Mm. If you want more information about Bulletcraft and yeah. the stuff that he does, the best place to check that out is from the Hawthor's Mouth on Facebook. Yes. Yep. So jump on his Facebook page, uh, Bulletcraft. And Bulletcraft Big Cartel is his store. Yeah. Stay tuned for more of our EDC yes. madness. So is this the sort of thing that you guys like? Um, Adrian and I really like EDC yeah. stuff. Um, you know, if we get some good response on that, we'll talk about the torches that we've uh, taken and, and modified. And let us know what you think of these knives, because if you say it looks really cool, I'll be happy. So yeah. That's and yeah, feel free to show us what you're doing and yeah. what you're working on. Yeah. And Please let's 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 have some space. pocket dumps from people. Oh, you know? I'd love to see exactly. pocket dumps. Perma link in the description. To exactly. The we'll, Facebook we'll, link. We'll, we'll post just post on the the link on our Facebook page to the video your pocket dump. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. I've been Ryan, and this has been Adrian. Adrian. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've liked this content, subscribe. If you've liked this particular content, let us know, and we'll do more of it. And if this isn't what you want from this channel. Also let us know and we'll move it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So until next time, thanks for watching. It's a knife. Exactly. So... Wait, hang on. Hmm? Is that a spoon? <laughs> oh, 
I see you've got in life is food before. 